today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be in my garage, not in the garden, but we are going to do something which is still garden related. And that is to build a gumboot stand. So in my house, I have uh, four pairs of gumboots, mine and my son's and then my two daughter's gumboots. Some of them are by the back door outside, upside down, so that the rain doesn't get into them. But you don't really want to put your feet into that because you just never know if there's going to be a spider or a snail that has decided to make, take refuge in those gumboots. And then the other two, my boots are normally by the back door. But I, I just want them to be organized and neat and so on. So the weather's pretty miff outside today and I thought now's a good chance for me to build a gumboot stand. So I'm going to take you all along with me and hopefully you will also find it quite useful. It's going to be a little bit of a tutorial on how to build a really, really cost-effective, simple gumboot stand. My name is Bridget and this is the Sherwood Urban Farm. Okay, so I shot down to Buco and I got a three meter length um, strip of brandering. And so that's a 38 by 38 by three meters. I love using brandering, it's treated and you can you leave it outside. I'm probably gonna put mine just by the back door inside for the spiders and the snails and so on so they don't get in there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the, the brand ring to lengths and then I'm going to use these um, little angles I think they call chair chair somethings they don't say anyways I'll show you what it looks like when I've cut it like this so it's a little angle thing like this the way I did it what I measured was um, the height of the boot, the tallest boot. So I cut my boots down, my gum boots, because I don't like them all the way up my calf. So those ones are shorter. So the shorter ones are going to be 25 centimeters. Yes, this is a woman doing this. And we are not working in millimeters. No, we are working in centimeters. I know it's sewing. I don't care. Centimeters, right? So it's going to be centimeters, right? So it's 25 centimeters is going to be for the short boots. Um, my daughter and I have short boots. My other daughter has got the long boots and my son's got the long boots. Now his boots are size 10. So his boots are, what did I measure that? Hmm. 40. I measured it about 40. I think it like comes to about 35 or something, but I figured we'll just make, I'm going to cut those lengths 40. I'm going to put a, a cutting whatever you know there's a you know, list a list of the, the the sizes that i used um you can even make this just for one pair of boots you don't need to make it for four or five or whatever pairs of boots okay so i'm gonna cut the wood i've already measured it i've already measured it i don't think you needed to see me measuring it so i've measured it um i might be short a little bit i actually am three meters was just not enough I should have measured it first. I should have designed it first before I went and bought the wood. But I think I still got a, a strip of brand ring in the shed, which I'll just add to that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use our um, jigsaw to cut the wood. I don't really enjoy using the jigsaw, but we have got a better blade on it now, so it doesn't shake the bejeebas out of you anymore. Ideally, you want to use like a, a table saw or um, we've also got a bandsaw, but the bandsaw is stuck against the wall underneath a whole whack of stuff. And so that is a real pain. So I'm just going to use um, the jigsaw and then I'm going to cut, I'm going to put the wood in the, in the, in the bars and then I'm going to cut, cut it with the jigsaw. So let me do that. And I'm going to put all my safety gear on. My kids call these the ear blockers and the safety, these things. There we go. You know, safety first.
Okay, I put it just for the light. Uh, it's fluorescent lights. There's nothing I can do about it. So it's a bit bright. White light stuff happening here. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, if you look, you can see, that's the thing. If it was a table saw, it would have made a beautiful cut. But with the jigsaw, it leaves a little, like, frayed ed edges like that. So I'm just going to run it over the belt sander um, just to smooth off the edges on all the pieces. Now I can assemble. I mean, this is really not a difficult project. We've got this Black & Decker, it's really old, um, cordless drill. My husband is so clever. He used these batteries and then he's jigged it up so that, because the batteries already, I mean, those are the first things to go. So that's gone years ago, but now we use this and it is just glorious. You can drill and drill and screwdriver thing forever and ever before it needs charging. Okay, so I'm putting just a little star screwdriver bit on here. There we go. Unfortunately, the other day it packed up with, it can't reverse, it can only go forward. That is unfortunate. But anyway, one day we'll get a new one. Okay, let me put you so that you can see what I'm doing. So I thought I would make it 30 centimeters wide. So these are going to be the two feet that it stands on. So these this these ones are measured that there will be 12 centimeters between the two uprights for the long boots. So it's going to be five centimeters uh, from the edge, and then it's going to have so it's five centimeters there, and then 12 centimeters in between. I just realized now that I have, I'm short two of these, but that's fine because I found some other wood. Let me go cut those quickly. Okay, so what I've done now is I've made this side flush here and here with the sort of, that's sort of like the foot, those two uh, lengths. And then I've given it a, a five centimeter gap on either side there. I'm going to take my little bracket. And I'm going to place one here. This is underneath the foot, the two feet of the stand. Let me just see. Okay, these are two and a half centimeters. I think that's better. The only thing with these ones is the uh, thread is quite close. Where these ones, the thread is wider. And then it just helps for, this, for it to go in easier. But let's just see how we go here. Let me do the side first. Now I was um, measured off five centimeters on this side. Mm. Okay, and then the thickness of the this is a three by eight, so that was in the calculation. And then twelve centimeters to the next one. So by putting the brackets on, on either side like this, I can now just 
put it in place where I've marked it and then just put the screws in down so that the uprights are secure. There it is. I've been wanting to do this for so long now and I've finally done it on this nasty windy day. Ah oh, man I'm so happy with this. Anyways I hope that my instructions are clear enough if you don't understand something then please leave a comment in the comment section below but um, I am so impressed with how this turned out. Thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. And if you know of anybody who could do with a boot stand, then please do share this video with them. And if you enjoyed my video, then please do like and subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. And I hope that you have a glorious day further.